Hello boys, welcome back to the channel. Cautious Marlon, make sure to like, subscribe, comment and follow me on Instagram. Cautious Marlon. And the topic of this video is that your environment is extremely important. And the people you hang around with are extremely important. Because, you know, we used to be in tribes. We used to be, we are like herd animals. We are very, very social. And back then, the only way to survive was living in tribes. And living in a good supportive environment where everyone has a certain role and you get influenced by society and the people you spend your time with a lot way more than you think you copy you basically copy the habits of your family if your parents are smokers you're like way more likely to start smoking if your parents have good habits and they're fit and your dad is going to the gym you're more likely to be uh, into fitness if your dad is a gamer, you're more likely to game. That was my case. If your dad is into Star Wars, you're more likely to like Star Wars as a kid. That was also my case. So you basically copy the habits and the way that the people around you think. So it is extremely important who you spend your time with. And if I'm honest, the last like two, three weeks, I've met a lot of friends, like two, th 20, 30 people. And I was I was like very happy that I finally I found like friends and a group to go out with close to me, like just fifteen minutes with a bike and I can go there and have like fun and meet some girls and stuff like that. But ninety nine percent of them are completely fucked, suicidal, depressed, taking drugs. And the more time I spent with them, the more I got like them. I didn't take drugs or anything. But you just change the way you think and you start to adopt their they have is in the way of thinking. They're very negative and close-minded people. They're not into fitness, they're not into self-improvement. Self and you, you unconsciously pick those things up. And I just read the book Atomic Habits. And there was a very uh, interesting chapter. It was like a, a family in Hungary, uh, Hungary, I think, I believe. And <clears throat> it was like kind of an experiment. The dad wanted to like show how much how much importance the environment and the people around us have so he got three children three kids and he wanted he um he wanted to make them pros and chefs like grandmasters and world champions and the environment the house was full of uh chess games everywhere like the main topic was chess he had pictures of successful chess people everywhere if they wanted chess if they played chess they got rewards for that and guess what happened First girl, extremely good, won like a world title, second girl, even better, was like the youngest in chess master or something like that, third girl, even better, like the youngest chess master and grandmaster and world champion, so that just shows importance, you can literally program people by putting them into a positive environment, and now imagine when you have kids or something like that, you can basically program them to be successful. When from from the age of like like from when they were born, you just constantly say fitness is good, social media is bad, porn is bad, this is bad, this is good, don't eat junk food, don't take drugs, and you're also a good role model and you show that to them. They're gonna be extremely like you and you can influence them a lot. <laughs> that is just amazing, like they literally became pro masters just because the environment was was perfect for becoming good at chess. Just imagine the environment is perfect for becoming a fitness influencer. Like you're just like six years old and you see your dad walking out at home and you have like these pictures of Arnold Schwarzenegger everywhere or like, or like fucking Chris Bumstead or something like that and you have like when when they walk into the living room you have like on the TV playing like a, like uh, some sports or something. That kid is going is way more likely to go get into fitness as well and do some positive and good habits. If your parents are just sitting at home watching TV, smoking cigarettes, and drinking, that's not a good, that's not a good role model. And your kids are like, my kids, but your kids, if you're like that, they're gonna end up like that pretty much. But the positive thing is, we can choose our environment. We can't like, we, of course, we got born like I got born in Germany, I got born in this house, not in this house, but I I live in this house with my family. I can't really change that, but I can change who I can get influenced by. I used to just, just watch like normal gaming people, 
like normal streamers, like XQC and all those people. It's just gaming and funny and uh, but when you change your when you change the people you take influence by, you also like this is basically like changing the environment. Like I just listen to a lot of podcasts now. Basically only self improvement is like the only thing I watch. And life advice, modern wisdom, podcasts about psychology and about the human mind, about mental health. Just get influenced by that and that pushes me forward. And I'm going to kickboxing. Everyone is like focus on kickboxing. So you end up doing much more and way more and way better stuff. You have like a good coach that influences you, like it's just a positive environment. And when you spend your time with those people that are just taking drugs and some small close minded and like degenerates, Jeffreys, you're gonna end up like them. And that's why I that's why I cut those people out of my life. I had like two separate friend groups, one friend group, something extremely weird happened, like this one girl was just like screaming rounds through shares at us and completely broke down and said she's gonna kill herself, like it was fucking crazy that night, so I'm not going there anymore. And the other friend group went to like three days ago, and every time I went to the toilet, uh, this girl told me that they were talking trash behind my back. And I was like, bro, those, those people are not friends, I'm, I'm not gonna go anywhere now, I'm just, I'm rather alone at home, or like with my, with one, two like gym buddies or kickboxing buddies. Then in these big groups that just influence me bad or talking trash behind my back for no reason. But I am grateful that I went to this one group that talked trash behind my back because I got in contact with a girl and now we're like dating and I'm going on a date next Friday and then inviting her to, to, to dinner and like eating sushi. So that is positive. Then I, then I met some positive people and she's like very high quality. I never thought that I'm gonna meet a girl like that. She has no social media. She doesn't, she never took drugs. She's not drinking alcohol, no drugs at all. She doesn't smoke. And then I knew that she's the right one when she said, in a relationship, the man should always have his goal and his dream as number one, and then the relationship. Because if he doesn't focus on that, he's not like a true man and can't focus properly and can't give like love because he's not focused on his vision. And then I was like, the fuck, she's the one. No, not, not like she's the one, but I never thought that I'm gonna meet high quality girls like that. Because all the other girls that I've met were just like suicidal and depressed and taking drugs and stuff like that. And then this girl is like, she's so high quality and she's also extremely beautiful. And yeah, you will just see how it goes. But your environment is so important. Don't spend your time with results. And you know this quote, I said it a million times, you've heard it before, you're the average of the five people you spend your time with. In the modern day world, we could say you're the average of the five people you get influenced by. So choose wisely. If you don't have a lot of friends because everyone else is a chef, stay away like that. It's not worth it. I've tried it. It's better to those, even though you want to have some fun or you would like to go outside, or whatever. It's better to just stay home and get influenced by good people in the internet. The best thing would of course be if you have like a friend group of people that are also in self-improvement. And you, of course you could try to get those shepherd friends on the self-improvement. But that's very, very hard and very, very rare that they're actually gonna do that. And they have to be convinced by themselves, they have to go through the through the months of like hating themselves and feeling shit when they jog off seven times a day and then fucking break down. Like they have to go through that shit by themselves. And if they don't want to change if they don't want to change and they're not willing to change by themselves, it is extremely hard to influence someone else to that. So pick wisely who you spend your time with and choose the right environment, set yourself up for success. See you in the next one.